Kalai tarik mentau benai kedai gesi burung kerpang Ya uwe na ki kat arwat ki apasal ujisu Kata u Thomas Bukhoi Wa apasal kari jengi kari India Kalong ke jingkirku ke bakhrawa na kebentar ke jat benri ujang kari India Bat ke perthehi baru kewe U Thomas Bukhoi lawan syayab hamad ras ni cenai kembangi jukhat mentah Habayadai berkena ke saskam kawan rakyat ke jingpen i beli kot syafang ke jingim jengu haka ketian parek Saint Thomas, also called the Didymus, was one of the twelve apostles from Jesus Christ. He was privileged to have a rich faith experience and a personal encounter at the feet of the risen Lord when he exclaimed the immortal profession of faith, My Lord and My God. There is a very strong tradition that soon after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, he came from Jerusalem to South India. He set foot on the shores of Kerala at Kodungallur in 52 AD. He baptized several people and found seven churches in the following places. Kodungallur, Palayur, Parur, Kokkamangalam, Niranam, Nilakkal, and Koilan. He preached wrought miracles and labored for more than 10 years in these seven places. He made people embrace Christianity. After his labors in Malabar region, he went to Mailapo in Tamil Nadu along the Coromandel coast. Even here, he was doing the same, teaching, preaching and drawing a large number of the oppressed and suppressed into his fold. His conversion activities incensed the orthodox and enemies from their rank vowed to finish him. He had therefore hidden himself at a cave in Little Mound. The enemies did not leave him. They followed him for a period of time with vengeance. At last, one day in 72 AD, he was chased and was martyred at a place now known as St. Thomas Mount. Later, he was buried at Santhom Church. Let's reveal the historical evidence and salient features of the three holy places which are situated in India, Tamil Nadu, Chennai, namely Santhom, Little Mount, and St. Thomas Mount. The National Shrine of St. Thomas Basilica, situated near Marina Beach, is of historical importance. This comes under the Archdiocese Madras Mylapore. The National Shrine of St. Thomas Basilica is one of the three in the world built over the tomb of an Apostle of Christ. The others are St. Peter's Basilica Rome and Tomb of St. James, Spain. It is constructed using Gothic style. The Gothic churches are known for their tall spires. This style is very much adhered to in the architecture of the Santom Church.
to visit the St. Thomas Tomb Chapel, move into the building behind the Basilica. As you enter the Tomb Chapel, the altar and the statue of the dead Thomas you see at the far end and above the spot where he was buried. The new underground chapel with a separate access outside the church structure allows pilgrims to pray at the tomb and tourists to visit it without disturbing the sacred functions in the church. As for the church has so much history behind it, there has been several periodical references about this ancient church through many European pilgrims, visitors and travelers. But the Portuguese arrived in Mylapo in 1517 and again in 1521. They found the Santum Church in ruins except for the small chapel which contained the tomb of St. Thomas. The historical Gothic shrine blessed in 1896 needed extensive restoration. What we see now is a restored basilica. There is a statue of Christ as priest. This was added in the middle of the 20th century. Of particular importance are the stained glass windows of the magnificent church. On the eastern wall facing the worshippers as they come to pray are three windows with stained glass pictures of Jesus appearing to St. Thomas. There is a small museum with exhibits concerning St. Thomas and the history of Santo. Each exhibit is accompanied by an explanatory plaque. St. Thomas made this pole from the legendary log that was washed ashore which was gifted by the King Mahadeva for building the church. Many believe that the area behind the church was protected and saved from tsunami by this pole. A piece of precious bone of the apostle and the spearhead that was used to kill him are preserved in Santhom Basilica. St. Thomas' relic card is embedded with a little sand taken from the tomb of St. Thomas. The sand from the tomb is believed to have miraculous healing powers. The visit of the Pope John Paul II to St. Thomas Mount and St. Thome on 5th February 1986 gave the shrines a historical significance. We celebrate the feast of St. Thomas in St. Thome on 3rd July. Whereas the feast of Mailei Mada is celebrated in the month of August. Little Mount is one of the three places at Coromandel Coast actively associated with the missionary labors of the Apostle. Even today, one could see a number of historic evidence for the Little Mount Church being the real place where the Apostle lived and preached. The ancient church built by the Portuguese in 1551 AD under the title Our Lady of Good Health is seen still the same as it was built. 
Inside the church, there is a beautiful statue of Mother Mary in altar. As one more historical evidence, the cave is still there on the left hand side of the main altar which is far from artificial. This cave is about 14 feet broad and 15 to 16 feet long and not more than 7 feet in its height. Saint Thomas was believed to have lived or hidden himself from the persecutors in this cave. Even now, one can see the handprints of Saint Thomas while praying and a window opening inside the cave. The tradition says that through this window opening, the apostle made a good escape when he was pierced with a lance. The clearly visible fingerprints are traditionally said to be the impressions of the saint when he escaped from the cave. Behind the church near the altar of St. Thomas Rock with the cross, we can see a perennial spring. It is believed that when the Apostle Thomas preached the good news to the people gathered on the rocks, they were purged with thirst. The Apostle Thomas was said to have offered Mass and spent long hours of prayer in this place. Outside the small building of miraculous spring and altar, one could see a boulder of a right foot impression which is said to be the footprint of Saint Thomas while he was fleeing to the big mount at the time of persecution. Later, around the boulder, a tower was constructed. St. Thomas Mount, soaring 300 feet high above the sea level, is located closely to the International Airport, Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. This shrine comes under the Catholic Diocese of Chengalpattu. It is a place of international prominence, historical significance, religious glory and tourist attraction. The facade of the chapel, ornamented and highlighted by the Portuguese coat of arms, serves as the official signature of the Portuguese. The shell-patterned roof of the chapel is the tunnel of the spiritual energy. An arch inside the church bears the title in Portuguese, Senhora da Expectaco, 1523 meaning the Church of Our Lady of Expectation. The spot in the sanctuary where St. Thomas was martyred that floods the altar even now. The Divine Presence of Jesus Christ that St. Thomas brought to India is vibrating at Santhom, Little Mount and St. Thomas Mount. It attracts people of all nations, of all colors, and of all religions. Let us also go with him and die with him.